so did my world come to an end. And for three long years, I sat in that pit of darkness and fed. Devouring demons. So I could live. So I could live long enough to kill him. And be my brother's vengeance. Where is he? First, there will be a test. It will decide if you are worth teaching. Hey everybody, welcome back to part three of Let's Play Tales of Berseria. There were cutscenes at the beginning, so I didn't really want to talk and just change the whole atmosphere. But yeah, we're back and we're fighting Ceres, Artorius' Malachim. Which is kind of like a god um, magician thing that you can't, normal people can't see. So, all right, let's learn. Quick step. Come on, hit me. Come on. There we go. And when you do a quick step, you will actually drop a soul thing. But right now, as you can see, we're full, so... So as you can see, this is just basically a really simple hitting match right now, but it's probably because it's just a test. And dashing does use your soul a bit. Not all of it, but it does use if you constantly keep dodging, this will happen. Why are you holding back? You noticed. Well done. You pass. Of course. His Moloch would never be so weak as that. I am his Moloch no longer. <sighs> First, let me tell you what has transpired these past three years. There are exorcists now throughout the land, challenging <clears throat> the reign of demons with the help of... Tell me. Tell me where Artorius is. You may find him in the capital city of Logris in Midgand. You won't stop to listen. I can tell you what it was you saw that night. That night, the ritual he performed shifted the very course of the world. A host of Malachim descended, and with their strength, the emergent exorcists quelled the demon tide. Now, he serves as leader of the Exorcist's Abbey, an institution that enjoys the unconditional faith of the kingdom and public. 
a shield to guard the people, and a sword against demons. Artorius Colbrand, the world's savior. With power stolen by sacrificing Lafayette. Indeed. But his power is not yet absolute. The man can still be killed. Why are you doing this? Make a successful escape from this place, and I'll explain. Escape? So that's your game. Fine. I don't care what the world thinks of me. What matters is my vengeance against Artorius. That's all. By the looks of it, the seal. Yoke. We must hurry. Your yoke. I would just call it a seal. Yeah, but we can now finally leave. Unless we get some XP for it and an item. And these are the stats that we have. There's attack, art attack, defense, art defense, focus. Pretty self extra um self explanatory. Uh yeah, moving on. Martial arts, hidden arts. There's a lot of technical stuff, but basically it's just a lot of kicking and punching and swords. Which is so we it's we're in a prison area. It'll help to look around because we will find some shinies. Huh? There's one right now. Copper coin. Okay. We can go back down there if you want to go back to our prison cell, but there isn't anything useful here, so... But for some reason, that is still an option. Just going back down there. Reminisce, maybe. Any shinies? Yeah, found one. Alright, moving on. Equipment. There are weapons in the room ahead. So the map, how the main map works is kind of updates itself when you're going through the game, and then the floors and when the f change floors, map change. Just the casual, the usual mini map, the way it works. And there's a star, so we know where we're going. Pretty linear so far. No one raised the alarm. I can see that. Take what you need from here. And before we open this chest, we'll pick up that shiny over here. Silver coin. It looks like they kept prisoners' effects in here. Rope. This will be useful. Quite a blade. I know that sword. Stormhowl. What is it doing here? Well, it's too big for me. You're not taking it? It's a celebrated masterpiece. And if I can't use it, it's worthless. So you can see the, over the course of three years how she's completely changed just because of hatred. But... Her sword still remains the same, a little similar. All nice right. gear. I guess that'll ready, then? protect her. What's going on here? Great personalities from all damage. And look at that, we have our first fight in the prison. Oh, unless you count Sarah's, but that was just a test. As you can see, we're actually taking damage now. Ow. There we are. You didn't even flinch. I already told you. I am his Moloch no longer. Is there a ship waiting? So you already know we're on an island. Yes. I've learned that this is a prison island for violent criminals. 
and that there are scores of demons locked away here. Demons say lots of things when they don't want you to eat them. The prison has docks at both the front and rear entrances. Our ship is on the back side. Got it. The back docks. Okay, so we have our objective now. We have to go to the back docks, and by the looks of it, I missed another shiny. Right there. So, looking at the minimap, oh, and by looking at it right now, that area is blocked. So, the only place we can go is here. Save point. We're actually going to quickly save. What is this? That's a special mass of mana. Think of them as the souls belonging to a family of Malakim. They appeared all over after the advent three years ago. Another after effect of the advent. If you collect enough of them, you might be able to solicit the cooperation of a Malak family. And I'm supposed to take your word for it. I'm not forcing you to do anything. Whether you collect them or not is up to you. I might as well pick them up. I'll use every tool at my disposal. Indeed. You'll have to if you want your revenge. <laughs> so we have one of our basic collectibles that we get throughout the game we can use as special currency. On top of the regular currency that we already used called Gald, I believe. Yep, as you can see in the bottom, Gald. Guards coming. Two of them. This way. <clears throat> Did you hear? The path around the island is off limits now. They say the ground's weak and could collapse. The path that goes under the watchtower? That's alright. Nobody uses it anyway. True, but it was a nice shortcut to the docks. Shortcut oh, how convenient. The docks. Under the watchtower. Find that information regarding the docks. That one place we do need to go. A number of guards have gone missing. It would seem we have intruders on the island. All exorcists break into two groups and converge at the front and rear gates. Understood. No one will get past us. Stay sharp. The threat could be serious. Yes, sir. sir. This isn't going to be easy. Then we'll need reinforcements of our own. Where are the cells? They should be on this floor. You plan on involving the other prisoners? I'll use any tool I have at my disposal. It's pretty cold-hearted, but not a bad idea. So, let's look for the prisoners now. Not really much looking to do since two of the areas are blocked off. Who in the blazes are you? Alright, our first uh, spear guys. Well, spear guy. And we can see information about these targets as well spear orderly and prison guard. Okay, we can change our target, who we're targeting, and even help on them. Shows us information, what their attack is. Quite a lot of information. Okay. Let's focus on the spear guy first. And we got another stun off, so that's really nice. Extra soul level with help. As you can see, the doors are sealed.
Listen up. I'm opening every door to every cell. We're getting off this island. What the hell? You serious? into two groups and rush the front and rear gates. Break through the gates and you'll have a ship. But aren't they guarded by exorcists? I mean, that pirate Von Eifried's the only one who's ever broken out of here. And he didn't pull it off just by himself. He was hauled out by some old exorcist named Melchior or something. Von Eifried? And Melchior. Sounds like it could be important in the future. I won't force you. You want to rot in here? Then rot. I'm with you. Anything's better than another day in this rat Let's hole. do it. I'm going home to my family. Me too. Yeah. Let me out, Rogues girl. like us are always I'm up for I'm sick a of the slop they feed us. Serious. <laughs> like if the food was good, I don't know. I'd consider staying here. Let's go. We'll burn those exorcists. Open all the doors. That ought to draw the attention of the guards. In the meantime, we'll search for that watchtower. From there, we can follow the outer path down to the docks. So you're leaving them all to their fates? I told you, we'll use any tool I need. So we can go into these cells and look for stuff, which we are, because why wouldn't you look for free things? Shinies, like that. I feel like I keep calling them shinies, but I don't even know the official name for it. I don't think it has an official name. Oh, and a silver chest. Battle boots. Nice. We'll equip them right now. I think, yeah, these are better than the ones we have. Okay. Moving on to the next cells, or set of cells. No one has any important stuff to say, except for one shiny over here. More copper coins, and we have some more of these. And that time we got two copper coins. Ooh. As you can see on the map, we can actually, we have one little guy to talk to here in the corner. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, you look a little You're interesting. to escape. Don't underestimate the exorcists. They're all gonna die like dogs. Or goblins. This abbey that's in charge of this place. They're that amazing. Amazing doesn't even begin to cover it. The exorcists of the abbey join forces with the kingdom of Midgan. They've got the whole world in their pocket. They're merciless. They hunt down any human who becomes a demon. Going against them means taking on the whole world. And I bet I know who's at the top. Those who get captured and sent here are the lucky ones. We may be monsters, but at least we have our lives. Sure, until they get fed to me. Thanks for the info. Even if you manage to escape this place, thousands of exorcists controlling powerful Molochim will be out there waiting for you. There's nowhere for you to run. Nowhere. I'm not going to run. I'll gladly die, as long as I take Artorius with me. Okay, so by the looks of it, going outside may not be the best idea in the world, but it's better than rotting in here. Alright, time to leave. Dear me, not a word of apology? Grimy prison cell. <laughs> you see why I'm not feeling well. And you are? Hooray! You ask. I'm thrilled to introduce to you the wise sorceress who travels the eleven seas, who scoffs at the might of dragons. None other than the acclaimed, the illustrious Magikiki Kapilu Dindo Dindo Larundu, Magilu for short. Magilu. No, Ma, like Soggy Shoe or Doggy Do, or call me any of those things and I'll turn you into a froggy stew. <sighs> I suppose you'll never understand. <sighs> People can.
and be so tragically unlearned. But hey, like I care. We just come across one of my favorite characters in the Tale series of all time. She's one of the funniest characters you'll ever come across, and spoiler, we will come across her again. I can't believe she snuck up on me. Who is she? This is no ordinary prison. We must be cautious. Trust no one. She said she's a powerful witch. Did she have a Moloch tethered? No, I didn't sense Malachim around her. She's an ordinary human, I think. Then she's an ordinary magician, not a witch. If she tries to trick me again, I'll crush her and be done with it. That's a little scary. What do we have behind door number... This one. Alright, so we've come across... All these prisoners, a really interesting witch, and a new ring. So, I think this is a good time to end it right here. So, next time on Tales of Berseria, we'll try and break out of this dingy looking prison. And, hopefully, get some revenge. Until next time.